The way it takes water out is, if you look at the tissue that the filter's made from, it's a, what we term a, a long fiber coniferous pulp. It doesn't necessarily have to be coniferous, but it's got to be a softwood. And the pulp has to be not pulped too many times. Most paper products have been, well, they have a certain amount of what in the paper trade is called broke, which is product which has been used, repulped, and put back into it again. Every time you repulp tissue, you reduce, reduce the fiber size by about half. So you end up with a very short fiber. Now the way in which the water is removed is for the long fiber to absorb the water from the oil and it, yeah, it works basically the same way as if you put water on blotting paper or ink on blotting paper. You get a capillary action of the liquid straight up into the hollow vegetable fiber. If you were to use a short fiber, what basically happens is you've got the fibers encapsulated into the tissue and the filter. The hot oil passing through it would push the water out of the fiber. But if you've got a long fiber, then there are millions of fibers in a filter cartridge, and a very high proportion of them, you'll find that the flowing oil will seal each side of that tissue fiber and form a little capsule which retains the water. Sounds very theoretical, but oil analysis proves this time and time again. And well, one of the basic functions of the filter in, in industry is taking water out. It's a very simple process.